Okay, she be gone, she be gone every single night And I own my pussy How's it going everybody? This is Top Drabo. Hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. Alright folks, so today is going to be a very special video. Today, I'm going to be looking back on one year since the day that changed my life forever. The day that I first started out at the current job that I'm proud to work at right now, the New Jersey Symphony, because today is the one year anniversary of the time that I started working there and here I am a year later and after everything I've been through, it was well worth the Wait. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what my experience has been like and talk about what's next basically because I am only just getting started with the New Jersey Symphony. So for those that don't know, obviously I have been through so many struggles throughout the course of my career. You know, ever since I left college, I had to go through, you know, four different part-time jobs. You know, at one point I was working at CVS where I was just working once a night on the weekends and just doing stocking and all that stuff. I believe I've already told you a little bit about some of the struggles that I went there when I was at CVS and it was not a lot of fun. At the time of my graduation from Kane, it was really the only job that I had and so I had to find some more jobs to go along with that just so that way I can make a little extra cash while I was trying to find a job in my preferred industry which is of course the media industry. So during that time I also got a part-time job at Lowe's in which although I was part-time I did have 40 hours a week whenever I was asked to do so and really out of all the jobs that I've worked at that that one was by far my favorite. While I was doing that, I was also working at ShopRite. As I mentioned before, I was working as a cashier. And so during that time, I went through three different jobs in three months all at the same time. And all of that, you know, with very little sleep and just, you know, a lot of hours that I had to work just so I could wait, I can find a job. But during that time, it was part-time hours, as I said before. And some of those days, I was being cut from those hours or I was asked not to come in at all. And I was getting really really tired of that so during that time i also acquired another job at walmart in which i ultimately chose to drop cvs as a result of that and at this point i think you all know exactly what happened during that time that was probably one of the worst job experiences i've ever had even worse than the one i had at cvs so yeah i was working four part-time jobs in a span of seven months all with very little sleep while i was trying to find a job in my field i mean at one time i had a job interview with NBC Sports on the phone for a freelance position with their golf channel. I had also interviewed for a subwayman down in Jersey City and I had also interviewed for a freelance sports videographer position for a local company here in New Jersey. And every single time I just continuously re was rejected and I was just starting to feel really really hopeless. I mentioned that by late August or early September if I did not find a job in my preferred field my fear is that I would probably have to go back to, to college and start over again or I would probably just have to deal with being in retail for the rest of my life and just deal with potentially being an absolute nobody as a result and my fear as it was counting down all the way those weeks I feared that that was exactly what was going to happen and not only that as I've mentioned multiple times before my autism played a huge role in that you know my struggles with communication and you know, my inability to be able to produce a real verbal communication with everybody it really caused a damper on me and I feared that as a result that I was going to continue to be rejected by everybody and as a result you know I feared that I was never going to be able to get that dream come true but as I mentioned before at this time last year it was the New Jersey Symphony that came through and said said yes to me. I interviewed for that one like I did with everybody else. I spoke to him a little bit about my story, you know, talked to him a little bit about my disability and how I managed to overcome that and be able to get to the position that I am now while also sharing the fact that, you know, I had little marketing experience whatsoever before hitting that job and they were immediately willing to take a chance on me. They gave me an opportunity and here I am a year later and I've taken full advantage of it. It's just really amazing, you know, just to look back during that time a year ago at the time, I had very little marketing experience. The only kind of experience that I had that was even close to that was when I was doing my internship with Choices, you know, where obviously I was still doing videographer stuff, but at the same time I assisted in at least some marketing that you know related to you know like building partnerships with local places in New York where Choices was actually originated at. But otherwise, all my experience prior was in video production, as I mentioned before, you know, internships and collegiate-wise. And so this was a completely 
different avenue that I was going into, but I was prepared for it. Obviously, if you don't know exactly what I do, I am the marketing production coordinator. I am responsible for a lot of the promotion that happens with the New Jersey Symphony, and a lot of that has to do with, you know, like emails and also, you know, everything on the websites that you normally see and all the events and all the news that are up there. I'm the guy that's basically responsible for it. And, you know, it's a big role that I have at the New Jersey Symphony. You know, because I'm basically the key guy that pushes the publish button on everything when it comes to all of that stuff. And so obviously, it is a role that I have come into my own with and just something that I'm just extremely proud to share a part of, especially with what we're heading into this season. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit. But yeah, as I said before, for somebody that had very little experience in this kind of industry and had little knowledge in classical music, as I said, I just felt like that I immediately bought Awesome. within like a month or so of starting with the New Jersey Symphony and just getting to work in the city of Newark with so many amazing colleagues, you know, it is such an absolute blast to be a part of. And I have just enjoyed every single moment of it. You know, it's not hard for me to envision that, you know, this could be where I stick with for the foreseeable future. And, you know, just all the friends that I've gotten to meet during this time, all the patrons that I got to meet that enjoyed the symphony's concerts and all the amazing colleagues, you know, that that's really the next thing that I really want to talk about here all my colleagues I have never had in all the years that I've been alive so far such a wonderful group of colleagues that have welcomed me with open arms and also just treated me like an actual family member the way that the people at the New Jersey Symphony did. You know, the fact that they were accepting of my disability when everybody else was not and passed over me because of that, you know, it just feels so special to get to be a part of such an amazing group of colleagues that I've gotten to be a part of and at times I've even invited them to it too, you know. I was a part of their Spring in the Music Gala. I've been to a whole bunch of their concerts. I've also brought some of them to the Best Buddies Walk. And I do have some more things that I'm planning for them as well, you know, when it comes to events that I'm working into inviting them for, and also being a part of as well. And, you know, these colleagues that I've gotten to work with, you know, they have been an absolute joy to get to be around. And I just can't tell you how happy I am to get to be a part of the New Jersey Symphony. And it's just been so much fun. All those struggles that I went through all of those years, moving around a lot to every single town, as well as in my struggles with being able to utilize my autism to communicate properly and just, you know, learn new things, you know, all those things, those were the real barriers right there, you know. The fact that I feared that because of my autism, everybody could sort of think that I would not be prepared for something like this. And my lack of marketing experience as well, you know. I feared that, you know, like I was gonna be passed over because nobody felt like that for somebody like me, I would be prepared for this. And be honest with you, I really do not know exactly if I even deserve to still be here because of some of those struggles that I went through in the past. But, you know, it's just been a complete whirlwind. All those people that I've gotten to be with, you know, and also some of the concerts that I've also got to take part of as well. There were a bunch of huge performances with some very amazing Grammy Award winning artists as well in the classical music industry. I've learned so much about that over the past few months, gotten to be a part of some of those amazing concerts and being a huge contributor to the marketing department and just working with everything to make sure that all the awards in regards to all of our events comes out it's just been an absolute blast and you know i've been able to overcome my autism and my disability just like many other people like me before then have been able to do and to be able to get to this moment right now and it all wouldn't have been done without several of the following people that i've worked with at new jersey symphony my boss is jeff anderson you know he was the guy that took the chance on me with permission from everybody else in the department he was the guy that welcomed me there and grace for you anderson as well you know she also he actually joined me after I had joined probably just a couple months after I had joined the symphony and you know both of them they were basically the ones that I've been following in my entire department and I've just been amazed to get to be with those two and work with the entire rest of the marketing department and it's been absolutely amazing you know and I'm really looking forward to this upcoming season and getting to do a lot more of them in the new future 
the company's president, Gabriel Van Aus, you know, he is an absolutely amazing human being as well, you know, such a joy to be around as well. And he also welcomed me with open arms as well. I thought he was gonna be the most critical of me because he is the president of the company, but now nah, he was just like Jeff, you know, I really enjoyed getting to be with him and I cannot thank him enough, just like Jeff Anderson, for giving me the opportunity to work with him and just enjoy all the fun that I get to have right now. And also so some of those that have also left before my time, you know, guys like Jeffrey Cohen, you know, a guy that I really got to work with over the last year or so before he went back to Philadelphia, you know, he was such an amazing person to get to be around. And, you know, I, I think of him every day along with all of those that left during the time that I arrived here, you know, I just think of them every single day. And, you know, I really look forward to getting to reunite with people with like him in the new future, whether as just friends or maybe even as colleagues as well, who knows? But, you know, I'm just happy that I've gotten to share some of that time with them. By the way, Jeff Cohen, Eagles still sing, Jets rule. All of this is also because of the thanks of Best Buddies New Jersey, you know. They were the ones that stood behind me and held my hand every step of the way while I was trying to find a job in the media and, well, marketing industry. And, you know, they were there to help me out. And I just cannot believe that with their help, particularly with their interview prep, that it all paid off because I'm here now getting enjoy the time of my life with New Jersey Symphony. And, you know, I'm not done with Best Buddies New Jersey yet. I still hope to do a lot of things with them as well and hopefully I'll well, someday put up another collaboration between the Symphony and Best Buddies New Jersey and we'll see exactly where that goes from there. So everybody at Best Buddies New Jersey, I cannot thank them enough for this. Their help during the time that I was doing their internship with them and helping me with finding this job in the first place. It's just been absolutely amazing. And of course, most importantly, my family, you know, my dad, and all my friends and all that stuff. Without them and all the support that they gave me, I don't think I would have been able to push this hard to be able to get to where I am right now, where I get to celebrate a year at the New Jersey Symphony. You know, it's been a lot of fun. And without my dad, who has been a major inspiration for me, I would not be here right now. I mean, I'm still hoping I can find my own home, but I'll tell you what, for as long as I'm still here, my dad's basically gonna be my main inspiration. So I cannot thank him enough. All my colleagues at New Jersey Symphony and everybody else that I've met along the way at Best Buddies New Jersey and all of that stuff, I cannot thank them enough. It's it's been an absolute joy to be a part of such an incredible organization. So obviously this year is going to be a huge year obviously. This year is the 100th season of the New Jersey Symphony. We got a whole lot of stuff that's going on, you know, a whole lot of special concerts, a whole lot of concerts with a bunch of great musical performers and a lot of Grammy Award winning classical music artists. I cannot wait to be a part of that. We also have the big Centennial concert on November 12th as well. And Pack. I cannot wait to be a part of that. That's going to culminate 100 years of New Jersey Symphony and it will be such an enjoyable celebration and you know it's going to be so much fun. I got a huge role to play for the centennial season and I cannot wait to be a part of it and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys with me for the ride. I'll be documenting all my experience in regards to our 100th season together this upcoming year and who knows maybe I can still think about doing that work block so you know if you still want to see me do a work block at the symphony or something like that please let me know down in the comments and i'll see exactly what i can do but i will be documenting every part of my experience of this upcoming season it's gonna be so much fun and yeah looking back you know the fact that it's now been a year since i've been at new jersey symphony it all feels like that i still just started yesterday and literally time just flew by within a span of 24 hours instead of a year which makes me feel a little bit old for a sense which is unfortunate but still it's been so much fun and I could not be here without all the support from all of you guys. I still have aspirations again to TV and video production, but not as much now than I did before then. Why? Because I really feel like now that I have found my place in the marketing and classical music industry. Maybe after the New Jersey Symphony, it might be a big five orchestra. Maybe the New York Philharmonic, or maybe the Philadelphia Orchestra. I don't know. I would more than love to get to work with either of those places as well if the opportunity arises it would be so much fun to get to continue my experience in this industry because right now i have found this to be my home and all of this would not be possible without all the support from you guys right now i cannot thank all of you guys enough for everything that has helped me with getting to this point 
all the support that you guys have given me along with all the support for my YouTube stuff as well you know I know that you have been enjoying all my content and I'm glad that you have been I got a lot more on the way including some content for the New Jersey Symphony as well I'm really looking forward to that and yeah without you guys there will be no magic right now so I just cannot thank you all enough for all the support over this last year especially with all the struggles prior to that to get to this point it's been a lot of fun so yeah the moral of the story is actually two points number one don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and try something new i had aspired to get into video production but sometimes it might be better to go somewhere else and in this case that's exactly what i did here when i made a decision to accept a marketing job and i feel like i enjoyed this a lot more than i thought i did and you know sometimes it's best for you to try something different instead of sticking with your lane and so don't be afraid to do that because chances are you might be more successful at another avenue than the one that you would prefer to go to and the other and this one i think is the most important autism really is a superpower despite all the struggles that i've been through over the last year i have found that if i use it right my autism can be a superpower to be a major contributor to life and just become an incredibly successful person that i am right now and i do hope that companies nationwide are paying attention because these autistic people they are just like everybody else they can work and not only that they can become huge contributors to their organizations and society as well and so yeah it's just really Really being about utilizing your disability to be a superpower to be able to make it to this point and also to step out of your comfort zone and try something new if you accomplish both of those the rest will follow and man that has really followed for me and I cannot thank all of you for helping me with getting to that avenue all right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when my latest video is released. Comment below for future suggestions for all my videos, whether it's vlogs, projects, or challenges, you name it, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to make them. As always, follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. That's gonna do it for this midweek upload. I hope you're all having another great day. Again, thank you so much for all your support during the time that I was struggling to get a job and making it to the one year anniversary of the day I first joined the symphony and and I'm looking forward to getting the document our centennial season here on YouTube and on my social media. I'm looking forward to bringing you along for the ride. And as always, I hope to see all of you again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.